Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Adi and today we're going to talk about tips and tools that you'll need for your computer. Now, if to set your computer down, I suggest your computer desk if it's big enough, a wooden floor, tile, but not carpet because it's bad. You have nothing else, lay down newspaper and put your computer on that and this desk will work perfectly fine if you cleared it. Okay, so yeah. So I cleared off the table and as you can see there's quite a bit of room left in there. Uh, it's enough to put a lot of stuff on there and I'm just going to use this blue bin just to show you on how much room you have. This is about one size of a gaming computer so you got quite a bit of room to work with with still space to leave your tools on the side so yeah. Remember don't put your gaming rig on the carpet that can really harm your computer. Just a quick tip. This is an anti-static wristband. You can ground yourself with this, and you probably heard this term before if you watch tutorials. The way you ground yourself is you put this on the wrist, and there's a metal plate on the side that would touch your wrist and connect it to the inside case of your computer. After the anti-static wristband is on your wrist, you can just look at it, enjoy it. It stretches very long and very flexible, easy to work with, and is not uh, that comfortable, but it will work. So. Yeah, and if you want to know how to ground, pretend this is inside of a metal case. You want to connect it to the metal part, not where the painted over. Clip the clip on, and you're basically set. That's it. Very simple, and you can pick it up for like around five bucks. Having a screwdriver is very handy to open the case or remove the motherboard from the standoff. If you have, don't have, if your case doesn't still have thumb screws, then this will be relatively helpful. So invest in a screwdriver. I don't suggest a Magnus one. I just don't trust them. Uh, my own reasons, but use any one you want. And yeah, let's go on to the thermal paste. One more thing I forgot to mention is that you will need thermal paste to apply to your CPU. Link will be in the description below, to, and you click that to buy it and see the picture. Now, when you apply it, put it on the CPU and only make it as small as a cooked grain of rice or an uncooked frozen peas. That should be the perfect size, and just put on your heatsink fan, and it will apply itself. If you guys can, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps a lot. Please like that. Also, help comment down below. And as you can see in the video in the background, this is how you build your own computer. Uh, for less than a thousand dollars is a great gaming rig and click the link in the description below for that and all links for parts are in the description below Thank you so much guys for watching and remember GG and as always you're awesome